Hey everyone, this is Jeff of Tell Flare Mouse. Recently, a viewer suggested we test out the Grimberg Less Lethal HP 68 self defense projectiles. Now, even though it looks like it's made out of rubber, it's actually quite hard and made out of a mixture of copper and nylon. Today, we're going to test these at a very low velocity and also at a really high velocity. Should be an interesting test. If you want to know more about Grimberg Less Lethal, I have a link to their YouTube channel in the description. Welcome back, Tell Flatter folks. Bullseye Brianna here. No need to panic. I'm back. <laughs> uh, today we're going to be shooting some Grimberg Less Lethal 68 caliber solid shaped projectiles. I've got one right here on my finger. And we've got some less lethal rounds. And then we've got some more or less lethal rounds. And we're just going to, you know, see what the difference is. See how they affect our buddy Doug here. Oops, I just lost one. <laughs> We gotta make sure we're staying safe here with our buddy Doug, so we'll see how it goes. Less lethal, right? Yeah. yeah. Now when I said these were gonna be low velocity, I wasn't kidding. 217 feet per second. Now we almost didn't even need a high-speed camera to film this, but it doesn't hurt. Now the important thing here was, even though it wasn't accurate, even at that low velocity, it was pretty stable in flight. Okay, now the more or less lethal one. <laughs> Ooh, 16.2. <laughs> it went through them. Did that go through the Hong Kong armor? Yes. Yeah. Well, I hit the bungee cord, so... We told you not to hit the bungee cord. You... My it's bad. It's the only bungee that we Oops. have for the whole year. That's, there is my budget for the video right there. <laughs> bungee shortage. It was a little high left, but we didn't protect our friend very well. The Hong Kong body armor failed. <laughs> so if you... Don't make body armor out of, like, multiple layers of just fiberglass cloth. Check this out. Oh! In and out through Doug, after passing through the Hong Kong body armor. And that's a more or less lethal round. <laughs> I would say more or less lethal. <laughs> At 1500 frames a second, the camera is a little bit slow to film this speedy little slug. But you will notice that it hit about an inch high and an inch to the left. And we'll see that trend continue as we progress. It's still low and left. Look at that. The less lethal were low and left, so we're gonna have to make some adjustments for that. You actually see it in there. As slow as it was going, it would how far to go in? That's about an inch and a half, two inches. Okay. It's right there. It looks like it was flying nice and straight though, even at that really low velocity. We actually see a little consistency between the first low power shot and this one, both left and low. This makes it a little tricky for the shooter to figure out just where to aim. That was right in the center. That blue clay everywhere. I mean, you can put your fist in that hole. Yeah. But there I go again. <laughs> 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 yeah, I hear you did the OG fist wiggle. <laughs> oh, but I saw, so I saw, and I saw your finger wiggle in the... <laughs> I just stuck my finger through there. Yeah, come through the other side. There is a wad in there. Yeah, look at that. still stuck in there. That was pretty cool. That one was a lot more accurate. And if you look really close... <laughs> What's inside there? Oh, Greg. Nice little uh, exit hole in the back. The projectile went on through. The wad stayed inside, but look at that entrance hole. Very cool. And how it peeled back the clay from the front, too. That's yeah. So cool. You can make a, a clay helmet. <laughs> you should you should uh, put that in a kiln, and then we could sell it on oh, eBay. Yeah, as a vase. Yeah. It could just be a vase. People will pay up to $3 for that. You'll notice in these tests that the projectiles are not spinning at all. No rifling. Yet they perform very well at supersonic speeds. Now from these tests, we were surprised that 
these things were as durable as they were. We expect them to be really fragile and brittle and break apart on everything that they impacted, but most of them actually survived and could actually be used again. Oh, try another one. Where did that one go? I think it went, it seemed to me like it went a little right. I saw it hit the dirt back there. <laughs> that one barely trickled out the muzzle. Oh, okay, try another one. Yeah, that got the plant stand at least. <laughs> you can do it, I have, I believe in you. Ooh, yes. I hit the coconut! <laughs> It's actually pretty tough to get a projectile to fly that slow. So we had a few failures with the low velocity ones and we wanted to show you that. But we also wanted to show how much damage a really, really slow projectile like that actually does. That would leave a bruise. Now these are usually fired at between three to four hundred feet per second to maintain their less lethal uh, certification, I guess you'd say. But they do seem to be very stable, even at these very, very slow velocities. Hey, the less, less lethal, or more or less lethal. <laughs> Oof! That Whoa. was on top of his head. <laughs> okay, that water. That, that did a little better job opening up the coconut than the yeah. less lethal one. There you go. Anyone thirsty? <laughs> who who doesn't love coconut water? Raise your hand. Oh. <laughs> Nasty. Me? For the remainder of the video, we'll be using just the high velocity ones and really show you what these things can do. You can see that Brianna's starting to figure out where to keep her point of aim so that she can get these things on target. A lot of viewers unfamiliar with firearms have a notion that every type of ammunition has the same exact ballistics. But that's rarely the case. We almost always have to try to figure out where the point of impact is going to be. We got the California ballistic gel out today. <laughs> well, I think you need to strap that down for it to work. Right. right? The rounds are going to bounce right off if we don't strap it down, Jeff. Let's just... see what happens if you don't strap it down. <laughs> you think? You think? How far do you think it'll go in there? I think it's going to go right through. Oh, okay. You got to be like. Pretend like you're surprised. I think it'll go oh, half an inch. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's my <laughs> prediction. Okay. Let's see if Brianna can even hit it. Now, most people with common sense would think as soon as that projectile hits the target, the target's going to start moving. Therefore, you need to strap it down. But that's not the case. It's really weird. As you can see, the target doesn't start moving until long after the projectile passes through it. And here's another good example of a target that's not strapped down, taking its sweet time to start moving after the projectile had already hit it. So if you ever wondered why we don't strap down our targets or our body armor or whatever, uh, that's the reason. It doesn't really matter. So that was high and left. I could see that. Yeah, but it opened up a big old hole. Again, a little high and left. Almost exact same distance. Yeah. And same with the coconut. Yep. But predicted uh, that it was going to knock the paint off. That thing actually did a little bit more. It made a. Yeah, that's not bad. Cool little hole in there. Didn't go all the way through like that one. Are you sure? Remember that? That's Remember that video? Right there? That's not it. <laughs> Okay, an iPhone, what is that, iPhone 12? Yeah, 12X Pro. Pro, yeah. <laughs> it's got okay. five for... cameras in the back. <laughs> <laughs> you can take a picture of yourself taking a picture of something. Oh, Ooh. sweet! <laughs> right through it. Sweet! Right through it. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I want my money back. Um, yeah. This is pretty, this one was pretty accurate.
Home yeah. still works out, guys. So you know. <laughs> There's that. Still has four of the four of the apps that came with it. Right? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Knocked a lot of the apps out of it. I think. But yeah, blew the back off. I don't even think this is the back. Oh, where's the? Is there a battery in it? Not I don't anymore. Know. <laughs> yeah, not anymore. Some kid. The in, SIM card. Some kid in China was. The SIM card. <laughs> so, yeah. hey, hey, you, drop, you can still get. Yeah, put that in. You still got your. Does contacts. that fit anything? Is that a normal SIM card? Not anymore. I don't they're, think it they're, fit they're about half the size yeah, now. Yeah, they're tiny. Yeah, they're tiny. Yeah. I need yeah. tweezers for mine. Yeah. Some but, kid in well. China was chained to a machine for a week to make that phone. <laughs> <laughs> just just, just destroyed that real quick. <laughs> Brianna's dad just happened to show up right before this shot, and you could tell he was really proud of his daughter with this shot, as he should be. A little more tweaking of the aim, and looks like she's got it down pretty good now. Officer Greg out here to tell you that there is no magic round that will not penetrate drywall in your house. There always seems to be an internet myth that there's a magic round out there, the perfect round where you can shoot bad guys in your house and somehow not in, uh, injure people on the other side of drywall. It doesn't exist, folks. If it's going to go into a bad guy and do any damage, it's going to pass through flimsy drywall. What we're trying to do, though, is hit the bad guy and not the drywall. So Brianna's going to shoot one of these more or less lethal rounds through first layer of drywall. Of course, each wall is made up of two pieces of drywall, inside and out. Then we got a hallway here, and here's room number two. Will it pass through all these layers of drywall and hit your baby? No safe round for in the house. They're all gonna go through drywall. Drywall doesn't stop anything. That was a nylon round. Still hit our baby. For such a simple projectile made out of nothing but nylon and copper powder, this thing does what a lot of the fancy smancy and really expensive self-defense slugs do. Minimum over penetration, maximum energy dump, and in this case the thing actually fragmented into a bunch of pieces. So we have a little happy face drawn right there, she nailed it dead center. I'm still... We sliced this open. And here's all the residue. Look at that. Broke it apart. And here's, yeah, you can even see the painted end of this one. Yep. Not super deep penetrating, but look, that the, would not be a pleasant. No, well, it's all kinds of garbage in that wound. Get out of there, fly. Here's the first for everything. All you gotta do is hit Doug. <laughs> Doug just broke into your house. You gotta say that. Okay, whenever you're ready. Oh, okay, so whenever I'm ready. Remember, it's, he's coming at you, so you better hurry. Okay, so now we're good to go. Okay, so that was pretty good. She had, have you ever rapid fired a pump action before? No. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> That's what's really great about these. There's like, how was the recoil? Not bad. Very light, yeah, you know, it was like maybe like a, that of a 22 or something. Yeah. All of them are right on target. Oh, here's one. Some of them are popping out. <laughs> However, take a look around back here where the, the ones that went over his vest. Look at that. This one was old, but two rounds exited right there through his back. Yep. So those ones missed the That vest. was good shooting. Very good. For never so. practice. Yeah. We didn't get, we didn't, we were like, do we have some bird shots you can practice with? Well, that wouldn't be real, real, real realistic. There's a couple of but, them. man, they're all on target. I know. There's a couple of these things down here. Little tiny child size vests there. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Well, there you go. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Doug took another beating today. Yep, good shooting. <laughs> 
Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Her dad's name's Doug, too. <laughs> it's like... Well, good shooting there. Thanks. These, I think these would make a, um, an excellent home defense round because of the very low recoil. Yeah. But um, more or less lethal, you know. <laughs> more or less lethal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't want one of these... No. Hitting you unprotected, that's for sure. Not, yeah. Not at that speed, full speed. Yeah, six, over 1,600 feet per second, that's, that's nuts. That's a lot of feet. That's a lot of feet in, a, in a, not very many seconds. That's like 800 people laying down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's it for today. <laughs> we want to thank Grimberg for sending these out for us to test. I hope you'll check out their YouTube channel. I can't really put any links to their website or anything like that, but you can Google them, right? If you have any questions, feel free to ask.